Hey everyone, this is a PSA bulk return. Let's open the box up and see what we got. It is time to, to open the second box. This one doesn't have all the stuff in it, so they don't double up on that. This side again is the back. A lot of cards. And go away. These boxes are actually nice for storing the cards too. This card has some dirt on the side. All right, so I mix these around. I'll start here. What is this? left arm of the forbidden one so this is uh, legend of blue eyes first edition ultra rare left arm of the forbidden one this was the only card out of all the cards i sent that had a visible blemish on it and you can see it right there it's a, a white mark and it was very disappointing when i saw the white mark on this because i paid money for the Ella B first edition complete set back in 2002 or three. I think it was 2003 I actually bought it. And then this one had a um, visible white spot on it. I, I wiped it a little, added a little bit to make sure it wasn't something that would just come off. And it was definitely card scrapage of some sort. Almost looks like there's writing on the back. I don't know, maybe that's just something in the card. But anyway, it's got a seven. Anyone wants to get their Exodia set? Um, Marauding Captain, Legacy of Darkness, first edition, eight. These scores are really middle of the road. This is a Exodia Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited and this is an 8. Maybe a little bit of scuffing on the back but you cannot really see much on the front and the little bit off center but that's about it. It's just not enough to get a 9. Fear Dragon. This is uh, Le Legacy of Darkness First Edition 8. Summon Skull. This is from Starter Deck Yugi. So this is a common card, but still because it's Summon Skull, people are collecting these. And it is First Edition Starter Deck Yugi. It's only a 6. You know... <laughs> things are getting what they're getting. How is this a sex? Like in what universe is, is a perfectly kept card of sex? Is it because they think this stuff on the edge is whitening or something? Because it's not. That's how the Okay, let's 
Charger Jack Joey Scapegoat 9, first edition. Graceful Charity 8, this one's a little off center. Starter Deck Pegasus, so weird. What did they do? They like put stuff in different spots. This one is Starter Deck Joey, and they put the Starter Deck Joey up there, and then down here, first edition. And then here, they put first edition up here, and they wrote out Starter Deck Pegasus. Interesting. So it's not really standardized, or as I thought, the people grading bulk returns are not top notch. Let's see if there's another one. Because I always do, okay, so they did these two the same at least. I sent two in. I had two Starter Deck Pegasus's first edition, so they did these both the same. It would be interesting if they didn't. This is the same. Okay, and then this one's from Starter Deck Pegasus. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. First edition. Starter Deck Pegasus. Seven. It's off center. Okay, so this one is XYZ Dragon Cannon. This one is from the booster tin. It's actually the collector's tin, but for some reason, because it's BPT, they like to call it booster pack tin instead of collector's tin. So this is seven. Nice looking card though. Okay, Gear Freed the Iron Knight. This is a seven also. Booster Pack 10, PPT. These were the original 2003 collector's tens. Oh, the original ones were 2002. So this was the second series that came out in 2003. Okay, this is a little bit disappointing because I have Alpha, Beta, and Gamma all in here and two of them got tens beta and gamma got tens i'm not sure what happened to alpha is probably in one of the other piles but it did not get a 10 it got a nine but these are perfect cards look at these things these came in the duelist of the roses and um they are so sweet nice Mint 10. I even have the empty box. If someone wants, I think I have the empty box. Duelist of the Roses. Yeah. I have the empty box if you want the empty box plus the three cards. Let me know. Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition Celtic or Celtic Guardian. A little bit off center. First edition, seven. All right, so these will be for sale. I will actually be putting them up. I'll let you know how to look for the pricing, but they're gonna be pretty, there's like weird scratches on this, um, case already because the card itself does not have a scratch in it and this is a nine trial of hell first edition legend of wise it looks pretty well centered dark fire dragon gem mint 10 legend of blue eyes First edition. 
I can tell you that I probably have several in here because when I was opening my Legend of Blue Eyes, I kept pulling these things out. Like, another Dark Fire Dragon, oh yay. Can we please get a Blue Eyes White Dragon instead of a Dark Fire Dragon or an Aquamador? Another one I, I don't think I have a whole lot. This is a nine. Centered, a little off, but not so bad. Another Aquamador, eight, definitely not as centered. You know, maybe that's all they're looking at is the centering. And then if there's obvious um, wear and tear, because these don't have obvious wear and tear. Mint nine, Flame Ghost. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition. Another Flame Ghost, Legend of Lies, first edition, mint nine. And Darkfire Dragon, gem in 10. I think I got two of those now. Legendary Sword, this is an eight. This is Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. These are the short print. And these were the, um, these are like buff cards where these would buff your um, increase attack and defense by 300 points. So these in the initial version of the game were very desirable because your monster cards just did not have a lot of attack or defense. Fusionist. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, mint nine. You know, I think sometimes they just don't want to give you a 10. Book of Secret Arts, eight. I'm sure what the difference is between this one and the last one. That's a short print. Dragon Capture Jar, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, Gem Mint 10. This was your counter for Blue Eyes White Dragon, I think. All dragon type monsters on the field are switched to defense position and remain in this position as long as this card is active. Gem Mint 10. And this one, another one, nine, first edition. They will look exactly the same. I'm telling you, they look exactly the same. And one's a 10 and one's a nine. And then an eight. So I got a 10 and a nine and an eight. Maybe they just were feeling funny. Anything eight and above is, is decent though, because those are still near mint to mint eights. It's when you get below an eight that it gets really disappointing. Here's a nine, mint nine. Two pronged attack, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition. Here's Alpha. So it was Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And Alpha got a nine. You know, not quite as centered. That's probably the only thing with it because these are, the card stock on these is really nice. And these, oh, it has all this stuff on the case and a scratch. on the case, all that was on the case. All right, so alpha, beta, and gamma, and to the roses, two tens and a nine. And the box, if you want. Carbonol Warrior, Warrior. 
Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, eight. Pronged Attack, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, nine. Giant Soldier of Stone, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, 10. So at least there are some tens in here. Reaper of the Cards. Legend of Boys, first edition, nine. Got a lot of defense. Another nine. Three for the cards, Legend of Boys, first edition. Spirit of the Harp, nine. LOB, first edition. Dragoness, the Wick, Wicked Knight. This one got a 10. This is a nice one. Perfectly centered. LOB first edition. This is a nine, same one. Dragoness of uh, Dragoness, the Wicked Knight. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, nine. Stop Defense, Legend of Blue Eyes, First Edition 8. Giant Soldier of Stone, Legend of Blue Eyes, First Edition 10. These were good, Defense, 2000 Defense. Follow Wind. For whatever reason, eight. So these are short print commons. So the idea was hopefully these would get uh, at least maybe a nine or, or if I got lucky a 10, but because those fall in value a lot. <laughs> Goblin Secret Remedy, 10. I actually think the Follow Wind as a common card as a 10 is worth more than this as a 10. I don't know, you have to, I have to look again, but. Increases a selected player's life points by 600. Secret Remedy, here you go. Inject yourself with some additional life points. Final Flame, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, eight. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, eight. Down to the very end, a little bit left. Buster Blader, this is a booster pack tin, eight. This is the Prismatic Secret Rare. See if I can get the, this one. Instead of looking like squares, it looks like diagonals which is pretty cool. But it's going this way, not that way, so it's not reverse. Very nice though, even though it's a eight. Armed Ninja, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition nine. Rear. Armed Ninja. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, nine. Cherubin, the Fire Knight. Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition, nine. Heen Heen, Gemman, 10. Look at that. Clearly, that is a 10. And all these others are eights and sevens. Armed Ninja. Legend of Blue Eyes, Mint 9. Last one. 
in him eight. This one's a little more centered than this. This one is chunking. I was on that case. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between a 10 and an 8, apparently. All right, so that is it. I will put these up for sale. So, but if anyone is watching this and are interested in any of these cards, uh, some of them are already sold. Um, so I do have um, some of these that are already sold, but most of them, there's only a few that are sold already, but most all the rest of them are for sale. You can get a lot of the Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. And because I got sevens, eights, and nines, they'll be pretty reasonably priced. You won't be looking at having to pay a whole lot of money. Like, uh, so there is my bulk return. All right, everyone, thanks.